Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, Cadence, Lucy, Orion, and anyone else who's listening. Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is The Berenstein Bears and Mama's New Job. The front page says The Berenstein Bears and Mama's New Job. When Mama gets home too late for a meal, how will the cubs and Papa Bear feel? There's a note on the board that says, Supper will be a little late. Love, Mama. The Berenstein Bears and Mama's New Job. It says, Quilts for Sale. Hmm, this looks interesting. So, the story begins. The bear family who lived in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country was a very happy family. One of the reasons was that they were all very busy. Each member of the family had work to do. Papa Bear cut and split logs and made the wood into handsome furniture, which he was proud to sell. Mama Bear not only took care of her family, but she managed the whole treehouse and tended the vegetable patch as well. And, of course, Brother and Sister Bear had important jobs, too, going to school and keeping up with their schoolwork. The members of the Bear family had hobbies, too. Papa's favorite hobbies were fishing and napping. He caught almost as many naps as he caught fish. (laughs) Brother and sister also had many hobbies. Brother was especially proud of his model airplanes. He liked to have Mama watch him fly his models, and sometimes she helped him fly his tether plane. Sister was a super rope jumper, and her goal was to jump a thousand times without a miss. She liked to have Mama count for her because Sister could jump faster than she could count. Oh boy, look at all that going on. (laughs) Since Mama was so busy with her household duties, she had time for just one hobby. But what a hobby! Mama was the best quilt maker in all of Bear Country. Her quilts were light and fluffy, but very warm. Her stitchery was fine and even, and her designs were original and exciting. Sister Bear slept cozy and warm under a quilt that showed her jumping rope. Brother went to sleep under a handsome airplane design. And the big quilt on Mama and Papa's bed showed the Bear family's beautiful tree house. Ooh, wow, look at those quilts. You know who's a really good quilter? Is Tess. I bet Evie quilts too. Yes, the members of the Bear family had happy, busy, full lives, especially Mama. My dear, called Papa to Mama as she worked in the vegetable pouch, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, would you put aside any fishing worms you might find? (laughs) Look at the look on her face. Look, Mama, called Brother, I'm going to fly my new biplane. I'm going to try for a thousand, Mama, said Sister. Would you please count for me? Boy, she's got a lot going on, doesn't she? A little too full, thought Mama from time to time. She would have liked to have a little more time for her quilts. She had some lovely designs ideas she wanted to try. A sunburst with clouds and bluebirds. Ooh, look at that. A beautiful bouquet of flowers with butterflies. And a harvest scene with pumpkins and squash. Ooh, those all look really good, don't they? But there just never seemed to be enough time. Then, one day, something happened that changed the lives of the Bear family. Something that changed Mama's quilt making from a hobby into a business. 
It might not have happened except for a coincidence, which is when two things happen at the same time. The two things that happened were that Papa had a big sale of some very special furniture. And on the same day, Mama hung out the family quilts to air. Oh, so she's just hanging the quilts out. But people are coming in to buy Papa's furniture. Folks who came to buy Papa's handsome furniture became excited about Mama's beautiful quilts and wanted to buy them, too. Would-be buyers offered Mama quite a lot of money. They were very disappointed when she told them that the quilts were not for sale. With your talent, you really should be in business, they said. Mama? In business? said Papa, patting her on the shoulder. I don't think so. One business bear in the family is enough. Look at brother and sister looking up at Papa. But Mama wasn't so sure. She was proud of her quilt-making skills and knowledge. After all, she was president of the Bear Country Quilting Club. Other quilt makers often came to her for help and advice. That evening, Papa and the cubs noticed that Mama was very quiet. She was quiet during supper. She was quiet during cleanup. She was quiet all evening. She was quiet because she was thinking, thinking about going into business. The next day at lunch, she made her big announcement. I've decided to open a quilt shop, she said, and I've rented the empty store just down the road. <laughs> Look at the expression on Papa's face. They're kind of surprised, aren't they? Not that overgrown wreck that's been empty for years, protested Papa. But you don't want to be a business bear, said Sister. You're our mama. That's no reason why I shouldn't open my own quilt shop. A lot of mama bears have jobs. Mrs. Grizzle is a sitter. Mrs. Honey Bear teaches school. Dr. Gert Grizzly is your pediatrician. Yeah, said brother, but they're not our mama. There's really nothing to worry about, said mama. Things aren't going to be all that different. Will you still count for me when I jump rope, asked sister. And will you still watch me fly my airplanes, brother wanted to know. And how about my fishing worms, asked Papa. Will you still put them aside for me when you tend to the vegetable patch? We'll see about all that, Mama said. Meanwhile, I have to be at the shop. Some of my quilt club friends are helping me get it ready. And oh yes, she added as she turned to leave, there's a lot to do. So, Supper may be a little late tonight. Ta-ta! Ta-ta, said Papa. Ta-ta, said the cubs. <laughs> Supper wasn't a little late that night. It was a lot late, and it was Papa and the cubs who prepared it. But they didn't mind, because although Mama was very tired, she was very happy, too, happy and excited. Guess what, said sister as she served Mama her supper. I reached a thousand jumps today. Brother counted for me. And sis helped me fly my tether plane. We had a great flight, added brother. And I weeded the vegetable patch, said Papa, bringing a tub of warm water to Mama for her tired feet. Well, said Mama, I'm very proud of you all. Papa and the cubs were very proud of her, too. There was no way to tell whether the quilt shop would be a success, but she certainly was giving it a good try. Aw, look how they're all helping her. After about two weeks of hard work, the Bear Country Quilt Shop had its grand opening. It was a very exciting event. Not only did Mama sell her own quilts, but 
She sold quilts for all the members of her club as well. It was a great success. Why, even Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot came in their long lavender limousine. They bought one quilt and ordered three more. Wow. I know what, said Mama as she closed up shop that night. Let's stop off at Burger Bear for supper. My treat. The Bear family celebrated with a delicious Burger Bear supper. Papa and the cubs were very proud of their business bear wife and mama. Mm, look at those burgers and fries and shakes. The extra money came in handy too. The end. Well, I hope you like that story. And I hope you're all willing to help out around the house when somebody needs to start a new job. Whether it's your mom, your brother, your sister, your dad. We all need support, don't we? I hope you're still taking good care of yourselves. I hope you're loving on each other. And I hope you're loving yourselves just the way you are and letting people know what your dreams are so they can support you. And never forget, I love each one of you to the moon and back. We'll be back tomorrow for another story for story time. Bye-bye.